Okay, back from the break. Time to pilfer a well. Let's go. Okay, so there's a lot of treasure that I can locate here in the well. And hopefully, something that I need is down here. There we go. That's a neat little trick I learned recently. So I can skip having to fight that Skulltula altogether. So, there's a lot of secrets around here, such as invisible walls. If you don't already know where they are, it could be a bit of a struggle trying to find everything here. Oh, we're starting this already off with an ice trap. So, the main goal in the bottom of the well is usually to find the Lens of Truth and then use it to explore around. There's nothing much in the vanilla game here, so it's it's all it's all like a mini dungeon of sorts. Oh yeah, and here's another invisible wall. This room here is filled with a lot of um, invisible floors that would send you to the uh, dungeon area of this, so it's like an underground river. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait till I do this next part here. So yeah, over here is where you would lower the water using Zelda's Lullaby. And then that lets you access a lot of this dungeon's secret areas. Down we go. So I can do this. Yep, there's an invisible floor over here. So I just have to hug the corners of this wall. And it's no trouble. Small key to Fire Temple. Awesome. So now I can do those last two treasure chests in the Fire Temple. And then I can say I full cleared Fire Temple. Okay, I'm going... Yes, I was going here. Because there was a treasure chest hiding down here. One that I usually skip for some odd reason. <laughs> there's, uh, there's the quiver. Oh boy. I wonder what uh, ammunition will get maxed out next. I found at least one upgrade to everything. Okay, so this is coffin area. Now, I could use Din's fire to light this treasure, but I'm gonna try... It's the same camera trick that I did way back in the beginning. Because if I can... Oh. oh, come on. I mean, I could just simply light it, but there are uh, keys hiding in this coffin as well. Is that good? No. Uh, I seem to be having a little trouble with it. Okay, I'm just going to light it with Din's Fire. So if you don't want to light the other coffin's torches, because all but this one have a Gibdo in it, um, you just stand far enough away that the flame only lights this one here. And then I can kill those, and I think that's just a heart piece. Yep, just a heart piece, but I, I'll take... Uh, trying to get up this darn coffin is always a bit of a struggle. There we go. I'll take some health. There, and that's all there is in this room. So I've just got to keep going around the loop here, and eventually I will have looked into every treasure chest. Now there is... There is also the mini boss that guards the the chest that would have the lens of truth, so I do have to fight that boss. Okay, nope. So I think yeah, there's an invisible wall here. Yeah, I will deal with that in a bit. Uh, there's this here. Now in this dungeon here, there are three locked doors. Two of the locked doors only lead to Skulltula's. This locked door here has treasure behind it. And there's also a bunch of flaming keys, and I don't want to lose my Deku Shield. So we're gonna avoid that option as I just try to get rid of all the trouble. <laughs> Bye, Beamos. And we'll do that. Okay. Now, I haven't learned the tricks to the floor here, because as you can see, I was like two steps away from falling. And again, these lead all lead into a dungeon area. Compass for the well. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing. 
So over here, one thing that always freaked me out opening this door, there's a like like right there. I never liked these things. I mean, I'm smarter to deal with. I'm smart enough to deal with them uh, altogether, but I just find them creepy. Small key to Forest Temple. There we go. Forest Temple can be fully cleared. Coming here was worth it. Okay, so everything comes back, but I'm not gonna stick around and fight ya, so we'll just leave. I'm gonna save going to the very bottom until the end, because then I can just use a warp song and get out. And once I'm finished here, that should be every single thing I need to do as a child as far as dungeons are concerned. Okay, so yep, there's that. And yep, well, I'm, I could just use Deku Nuts and bypass you, but eh, felt like uh, felt like killing one. Oh, bomb shoes. Well, I mean, I've got bombs now, so I don't have to. I don't have to hoard bomb shoes. Okay, what do we got in here? Oh, ice trap number two of the day. Okay, that. Okay, that takes me all around the loop. So, now let's go and try a fight against Dead Hand. Oh, full-on heart container. I'm getting pretty close to 20 hearts there. I wonder if I'll max my health out by the end of this. Okay. So, we'll just do this. I think I've got enough of a hitbox to skip that. Yep. So, in here is the Dead Hand boss. Now here's a fun little trick for you. In the Master Quest version of this game, uh, sometimes you have to fight Dead Hand without the hands to grab. If you have the Lens of Truth, you can find where uh, Dead Hand's shadow is and bomb it. So I'm gonna try fighting Dead Hand without getting caught by the hands. I mean, there's no reason why I can't. It's, I'm just having fun with this. And also showing off this trick. And I got Deku Sticks of Plenty to burn anyway, so, eh, it's just all about having fun. All right, so, oops, did not mean to throw another bomb, but hey, if it hits something, fine. There we go. I mean, I probably should have been trying to jump slash a few times, but, Eh, I'm not always the most efficient. All right, that hit, yes. Yeah, and to be fair, the uh, hitbox on Dead Hand is a little uh, wonky. I feel like if I don't aim the jump slash right, I'll actually hit Dead Hand and get hurt, and well, you know me and getting hurt. All right. Small key to Shadow Temple, that's number three. So, what do you know? Coming to the bottom of the well was necessary. And there is one last invisible chest here. Small key, red rupee, okay. This is, this is good, I like this. Coming to the bottom of the well was uh, a really good idea. Get caught by that Skulltula? Not, but oh well. Okay, there is one last treasure chest I can get here. I've conveniently saved it for last, and that's because I have to fall into the uh, dungeon area here. So if I just go over here, and I can just fall into a invisible platform there. A couple of rupees there, but it doesn't really matter. So it's in the corner over here. I think this treasure chest usually has the dungeon map in it. There we go. Multiple hitboxes on the redead. And you contain heart container. All right, so I can use a warp song to get out of here without any issue. Because if I was to do it normally, I'd have to do a silver rupee puzzle down here and that takes time. And I... Just want to get moving. I found everything I need to down there, which is two very good keys. Oh my goodness, the read distance on that thing. Okay. 
Well, I have the Song of Storms now, so there are there are pl plenty of things that I can do now uh, that involve grottos. Some grottos you can access with bombs, but some grottos specifically uh, require the Song of Storms. And then sometimes some of those grottos are only available as Child Link, which is one of the grottos that I'm going to get now. I don't know if any of the grottos will have uh, things I'm looking for, because looking at my tracker right now, like, I, I've got every key I need for the Fire Temple. I just, there's the one key I need for the last two chests. I have every key to the Forest Temple now, so I can complete that dungeon. Then I've completed everything in the Spirit Temple. I have two keys remaining for the Shadow Temple. And I'm fairly certain I can get through the Water Temple with the keys that I've got. So all I need right now are two more Shadow Temple keys. But I have no clue where they are. And I... Like, the notes that I, I have on the side of the screen here, and I totally just forgot my own, uh, <laughs> my own advice with grottos. Um, some of the keys that I've got, uh, to still look for, I don't know which ones of those are Shadow Temple. So, I need... I still need to keep looking, like, I, I'm not close to finishing this yet. Okay, well, give me a little bit of my money. And just regular old bomb shoes. Okay, well, that, that takes care of this. I'm gonna save frogs for later. Maybe I'll find the Song of Time. Okay. Well, I can, I can move on to being an adult now. Because it would be faster for me to go hunt for grottos if I've got uh, the legs of an adult. Just gotta keep moving. Always keep thinking of things to look for. This is a very... This is a, one thing I love about randomizers in general. Like, because there's so many things you can look for, you gotta think to yourself, what's the best thing to start looking for? So you're always thinking about what's the next best thing uh, place to find progress. So you might think, do I go to an area that has a lot of treasure available to me? Do I go to some place where it might be uh, difficult to do because I feel like that's where something would be hidden? You're always thinking about things. As opposed to playing the vanilla versions of these games. I've, I've played through the original games quite a bit. Uh, like, I've 100% completed them. Uh, I've played them just casual, like, try to get to the end. I've even played it where I don't get a single heart container, and I try to beat the game that way, because you, you've seen how much I usually need health, but trying to beat it without getting uh, uh, any extra hearts uh, is a challenge unto itself, and I've done it. But... Uh, there's one thing I've learned about playing the original games is they're very systematic. So like you you start the game, you go do your required tasks, you beat dungeons in their intended order. There are a lot of things that are just you always have to keep doing in order. Now I I'm not um I'm not someone who does glitches like for the sake of oh yeah master sword. Uh, I'm not someone who does uh, glitches to. Uh, speed up the game like I, I always uh, I'm always excited to see how glitches can break the games but I'm not good enough to like do them on my own yet oh good that did work okay just getting targeted there we go um, so I, I play the games on a very casual level and it's almost the same game every time but by playing randomizers the game itself, it's always different. So I can only rely on the knowledge of where things are, but I have to keep adapting to 
like what items do I have at a certain moment? And then I think, oh, hey, can I access this stuff? Can I go for this? Should I go for something that's way out of the way? So it, it, it's so many things you have to consider. And that's what makes these so exciting. Well, like that. I don't think I need those extra keys anymore, but hey, I'm okay with it. All right. Well, that takes care of everything to do with the fire temple. So I don't have to come back here anymore. Yay. But now that leads into what do I do next? Now the... I, I can get all the way to the end of the forest temple, but I just noticed I don't have the forest temple boss key. I'm still hunting for that. So then I gotta figure out what do I do next. So I know that I've got a large number of keys that are hiding behind things that need to be done. And I know I still have a couple of things I can do in the water temple, so that's probably one of the next things I'll do. Uh, something in there, I I need to beat the game. <laughs> I'd, I'd get a kick if uh, the thing that I need is behind uh, the chest when I beat Dark Link. Because <laughs> after, after getting my butt handed to me, I uh, was like, oh, no, not going to do this. So just moved on from that. Uh, but it'd be funny if the thing I needed was locked behind that chest. And there's a few other tricks that I can do. Because of the items I have access to, there are actually a few things I can do out of order, which do lead me to a few chests. So if I, uh, if I play my cards right the next time I go to the Water Temple, there are a few things I can hunt for. But we'll see where that falls on my list of things to do here. I do have another gossip stone here. What do you say? Oh, why do small keys keep showing up? Oh, please don't be a small key I need. I just need two more Shadow Temple keys. That's it. Okay, well, I do have every small key to Gerudo Fortress, so I can get the reward from that. Oh, uh, why do I have to keep hearing things about small keys that I don't like? Okay, that's it for here. It's either shadow or spirit. Uh, it's probably better if I just go on foot. Probably about the same amount of time. If I had the magic beans, I can look for a couple of keys. If I had the song... Well... Okay, actually, I don't know about that. I might be able to do, like, a, a, a skip around it in Gerudo Training Ground. The reason I say Song of Time is because that is one quick way to access the particular small key that I've got in my notes, but if I don't have the Song of Time, that makes it a little difficult to get to it if I don't have a surplus of keys. And that, well, if I do have all ten keys, I can get uh, to the other side and find out what that one small key is but I don't have that and that's the problem okay so I want to check something here because the number of times I've gone back and forth I never know what throw is wind okay so I guess going back in time reset uh, for always wind I don't know. With how infrequently I use uh, Froy's Wind, I don't know all the ins and outs of how warping works. So I might just have to go through the Forest Temple again, but that's no big deal. I can get th I can get through it uh, pretty quickly since I've done everything up to the last part. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go. There's there is a grotto that I can access uh, right away in Kokiri Forest, thanks to having the Song of Storms. So I'm gonna go hunt up that one. There is another Gossip Stone in it, so I could probably get another hint, and I'll take every hint I can get at this point. Okay, and then I just come out real quick, 
and that should be uh, everything I need to take care of there. And then I'll go do stuff in Gerudo Valley and Fortress. Because now I can free all the carpenters, and I've got many better tools to deal with the trials of uh, the Gerudo Training Ground. Including the last few keys I need to get uh, the final treasure. So let's see what I can do. Please be something good. Down we go. And what do you say? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I probably will have to full clear it anyway. Oh, double defense! That'll help. Especially against Shadow Link. Shadow Link, Dark Link. <laughs> Forgive me if uh, I keep switching back and forth. It's just how I would call him at that time, I guess. I know I've said Dark Link prior, and I've said Shadow Link a few times this part, too, so. <laughs> it's just a dark me. Okay. Well, uh, Gerudo Valley is calling now, so let's go and uh, get a few things there. Now, what would be cool is if I could catch a big po, then the next time I go back to the market, I could trade it in and get the reward for that. Cause maybe it's a... Because maybe that's a reward I'll need. And, and since it's so quick and easy to access, there'd be no reason not to for the sake of checking. So let's see if I can find the one that I normally go for. Yeah, so it goes right into the wall there. So let's try going about it from this direction. No, it doesn't work. I think... I think every po is locked to whatever direction you're riding in, so... Maybe I have to do it from this direction and just hopefully get it at a good angle. Like that. Oh, turned away. Yeah, this is why I never liked hunting for big pose in the original game, because it, it's hard to do it once. Doing it ten times is even worse. And they're all scattered around Hyrule, so I never really figured out where to go without the use of a guide. Okay, that's straight on. Oh my... I had you, and you turned. Ugh. You know what, at this point I'm invested. So let's, let's just try it again, hope I get a better angle. Like, I, at the very least, I know this one is consistent, so if I'm looking for a big po, yeah, just time it so it doesn't uh, uh, fl have time to fly away. Okay, so I do have to ditch the bugs, but I don't need to hunt for Skulltulas anymore, because I've got all the ones that I need. So we'll just pour you up there. And then I just have to walk into it and say, hey, catch. There we go. So Big Poe is mine. I can trade you in now. Now, before I do something silly, let's just get that going. All right. Gerudo Valley, here we go. So there is a grotto that I can access with the Song of Storms right by the Carpenter's Tent. There is the Gerudo Training Ground, which I'll probably do after I free the Carpenters. And then I can get the reward from doing that. And then see what I can find, because right now it's the Magic Beans and the Forest Temple boss key that I need right now. Magic Bean, well, or Song of Time. Warp Songs I don't necessarily need. If I find them, that'd be great. Be interesting to see what they were hiding behind and see if I could have gotten them sooner. But since they're not required, they literally could be anywhere. Okay, so it's just right over here. And some some skull some skull tools actually show up here too. But again, I've already got all the uh, ones that I need. So let's see what I can buy. Because I think this is a business scrub grotto. 
Yes, so I have two things I can get here. Thanks to a Megaton Hammer, I can just stun them all right away. Regular old bombs. Nehru's love. Well, too bad I found double defense, and that's usually all I need from that point. But, hey, if I absolutely uh, start failing uh, some of the boss fights coming up, then I have the instant protection. Shouldn't need it. So, hopefully I did not jinx myself. So, we just have to go and free some carpenters. So, I'm gonna go do this in reverse order. Oh yeah, Pona does not like that sharp curve. So just let her back up a little bit, and I'll take the rest on foot. So, I can go do... There's one in the corner here that I need to uh, take care of first. It's the one that's the furthest out. I mean, I can get this one along the way, so I'll just free him here. So do this, and then just away. Too bad this one doesn't get skipped, so it'll just be a few seconds of watching each one run away. Back to the tent. Okay, so then I go into this one, and then need a little hover boot skip I discovered last time, and then up we go. And then it's down into this one. That's why I'm super happy that I found the Gerudo's card right off the bat. I don't have to worry about stealthing my way around this place. I just have to actually just get to the area and that's it. Okay, so Carpenter number two has been freed. Next time I do this, I might consider making it so that it's just the one Carpenter I have to free. I, I enjoy being able to put the four keys into the pool, but... Oh, to do that but maybe as a time safer future I would just do the one I mean it, it really makes no difference because by the time I free them I usually have a Pona so that's just how I would get across it uh, either way okay oh, yeah I probably could have freed the first one and then freed this one and I'd be right next to uh, the training ground that's number three then one last carpenter to free. Up we go. Okay. Yeah, I'll remember that for next time. Just figuring out the order to do them in. Okay, last carpenter. Too free. To be fair, with the number of things I still need to look for, this probably wasn't necessary, but at this rate, it's just take care of everything you can. Okay, well, it gets me heart number 16. Could be worse. I think now with double defense, I don't really have to worry about health. Oops. Wrong door. All right, now let's actually uh, try to do some more things in this uh, uh, training ground. Start with the treasures I can get in the center room. Let's see if those were any form of necessary. So, yeah. I think I got through... Yeah, I only went through about four keys in, so I found uh, I found everything I would need f uh, for the next couple after that. But we'll see what I get. Got that treasure. There's one more treasure there, and then there's the one in the center. Too bad I can't uh, do what they did in the... Um, the marketplace treasure game where I can't just use the lens of truth and peer inside and just be like, ooh, can I see what's there? 
Nope, it is literally, I have to actually find it and see what it does. So what did the treasure of the fortress hold? <laughs> if I found seven keys, I could have found a bow. Oh well. So now I need... Need to get my way out of here. Now I have this key and there's two others hidden amongst that bevy of keys that I still need. So I wonder... How far can I get on the other path? Probably would need all three keys to do this. Yes, I would need at least one more key to get to the other side. Okay. Maybe I'll find one of those uh, random keys. Although, if I do the math in my head, I probably know where every remaining key is. Finding the... Uh, finding the means to get those remaining keys is what I'm probably going to be looking for. It's like, I, I can't jump up there to actually look for that key. I have to... I can only stick around and do the puzzles. So, here's hoping I don't fall into the lava. There we go. Get this before the ring of fire comes back. Don't fall into the lava. And now that I have the hookshot, I can actually do this. Thank goodness that they placed the torch there, because if I didn't have that, I couldn't even get up here. Or I'd at least have to attempt the puzzle from the other direction. Okay, so there's... Oops. There's two treasures I can get here. Just flip you all over before that. And I'm still using the Master Sword. How silly. Okay, so we'll do that. So this, I think, lowers the flame on the treasure. So I can get that. What do we find? Yeah, more health. So we'll take care of that. Don't light me on fire. Okay, that takes care of the enemies. I think that opens up the, yeah, the way that I had come in. Oh, and there was another treasure chest. Okay. So, that's good to know. What does number two give? Heh, <laughs> just bombs. Okay, so I think... Should be an eye switch right there. And that opens up the way on the other side. So let's go do this. Okay, so I have to yep, get on the center tile here. And see how good of aim I've got. Oh, that should have worked. Oh my goodness, my aim is terrible. And number three. And number four. So that gives me a treasure here. If I can actually get to the side to open it. I got our old deco nuts. Okay, I don't think. Yeah, hookshot can't get it, so I'm gonna void out. And I would have to access the room from the top half. So that means I have to go backwards. And then do the puzzles from the other direction. Now, there is another puzzle I can do in the room to my left. But I need the Song of Time to actually do it. So I have to skip that for now. Now I can go do some of the puzzles on the other other side, which uh, I was locked out of doing beforehand because I did not have a hook shot. Because I actually need it to get uh, some of the silver rupees for its puzzle. So let's do this. And the fact that we're also on a time limit. 
And I think there's even Wallmasters that uh, show up too. So, got a bunch of things I need to look out for. There's that. Silver rupee number two. Flame walls even, so this, uh, there's a lot going on here. Thankfully, you don't take damage when you're passing through on a hook shot. Disables all damage. So that's three down. Uh, rupee number four is around here. And one thing that they get you is there's one hiding right above you. Which I think I need to go around back this way again. And then actually get it from underneath. It's very deceiving. Like, you would think you'd need the uh, long shot to do it, but you can do it very precisely with a hook shot. Okay, just... Oh, yeah, there's the Wallmaster, which... Helps the play safe. Not going back to the start of the dungeon. Hey, thanks, you put me in the right direction. So we'll just do that. Alright, so... Now we'll do, this is the Wolfos room. So there's a bunch of Wolfos and white Wolfos in this room and you just have to kill each one of them to open the door. Thankfully, Bigger on Sword just makes this a piece of cake. Although they do have a, uh, a double damage weakness on their tails, so uh, you won't uh, have too much difficulty with that. But free treasure. And recovery heart. Okay, so... Uh, the thing that's meant to fool you here is you can actually... Uh, hook shot up into this wall here. There's a switch. And that opens up the door that's behind the block. Now, if I got my math right, yep. So I can access another door here. And if you uh, use the Scarecrow song, which I've never figured out the position of the room to do it. You can actually uh, warp yourself back up here and get the treasure chest that's in here. <laughs> I found the Tycoon's wallet. All right, rupees will no longer be an issue. They, uh, to be fair, they weren't an issue when I found the adult's wallet. All right, well, now I can just backtrack here. And let's see what's behind this. There we go. There's a bunch of like likes in this room. Uh, never, there we go. Yeah, you can actually angle your uh, bigger on sword just low enough that it can extend into their hitbox, and that would uh, kill them. So I'll just let them finish off there, because a bunch of treasure spawns in this room. And there is an invisible chest in here, too, so I've got four treasures in this room. Chances are they're all going to be uh, junk items, but at this rate, I'm just looking for anything. Oh, I found the winner heart piece! Well, that means I'm just going to win. Yeah, this was, oh, yeah, this was all worth it. I found the winning heart piece. Yeah. Kind of sucks I don't have the Song of Time, though. All right, well, so I, I can't do anything else here. I mean, it would take a while to actually warp back. So uh, I'm going to warp to Temple of Time. I'm going to go trade in the Big Po, and then I'm going to make a return visit to the Water Temple. That's my game plan for right now. If I remember proper, I think there's a way to get uh, to some of the treasures that are still in the Water Temple uh, by going backwards. Oops, I totally just walked by the guy. I need to give you the big po. I don't think there's any way to empty out the bottle otherwise. So let's, let's go. Such an adventurous tune for to uh tune for a place of the undead. So take the Poe. So, yep, got the hundred points, and what's the reward? 
Ah, uh, just Decker Nuts. Oh well. At least I cleared the check. Alright. Okay, Epona, it is your time for fast travel. And this is where I do wish I had the Serenade of Water, but again, the tune itself really isn't required. Like, the only... The only warp song that's absolutely required is the Nocturne of Shadows, because you can't access that area otherwise. Like, the... The one thing you do, I do find funny is you get the warp song once you arrive at the temple. Except for the Shadow Temple theme, that's kind of, uh, that, that's a real exception to the rule. But you would think, once you've finished everything in the temple, there's no reason for you to go back to the temple, and you only, oh, yep, big post spawns in the wall. Uh, and the only time you would really want the warp song is to get to the temple so you could beat it. So, <laughs> the warp songs themselves really aren't meant for the temples, they're just meant as fast travel for the areas around Hyrule. At least that's what I think. And again, that excludes the Nocturne of Shadows, because, well, you absolutely need it. Okay. Well, here we are again. All right, well, I've got everything I need this time to actually beat Dark Link, including maybe a better strategy. I don't know, maybe I'll use the... Did I just walk on water? Did I just walk on water? I'm <laughs> gonna have to remember that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to see how this works. I did find... I, I did find the compass to the water temple, so I can actually reassess... Uh, I can reassess my directions. So yeah, that takes care of that. That goes to the waterway. Okay, so I can access... First floor. Okay, maybe if I do this right, I could actually get to most of those chests. And that way I don't need the Song of Time. But I do need to go this way first, because then I'll... Yeah, that's what I'll do. So... This time, I'll actually use Faroe's Wind proper. So, we'll just get it set. So, Faroe's Wind will... Oh, I can only use it in the dungeon. Uh, well, that would save me a whole lot of... Well, it's backtracking to the Forest Temple. Oh, uh, what do I do? Because either way, that means I'll have to backtrack something. Uh, you know what? It'll probably be easier for me to backtrack going this way. So let's just do this. Take off the hover boots before it screws me up again. Okay, so give me right. Oh. So just climb up like this. So yeah, I could have gone back to the Forest Temple to do the last small key thing and then uh, do what I could, uh, can there, but that means I would have to, once again, come all the way back to the Water Temple here. And uh, that's just travel wasted. So I'm going to do everything I can here and then just do my best to uh, backtrack. Because all I need to do is uh, beat, Dark, uh, beat Dark Link here. Because I, unless the treasure chest in there is randomly the Song of Time, which if it is, then that's absolutely hilarious. Uh, but if it's not, then there we go. Don't need magic. So I don't know if he spawns again. Yeah. So you see there, I've got a shadow there, but as soon as I pass over the island, it disappears, which I is a really neat visual trick. So, I think the Megaton Hammer works here just as well. So, yeah. Yeah, try not to... So, yeah, he's just backflipping everything. Yeah, if you... I find it's actually easier to deal with him if you don't Z-target. So, yeah, like you can see there, I'm, I'm... 
unless he actually like gets in my hitbox, I'm actually hitting him, and he's uh, he's not hitting me first. My hitbox triggers uh, the damage first. So as long as, uh, yep. So there we go there. So that wasn't as bad. Maybe if I was just a little bit uh, less finicky with my control sticks and the Z, uh, Z targeting, then I uh, probably could have dealt with him a lot better. But let's see what has been hiding behind him the whole time. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's... Hmm. Okay, now let's go backwards. And then what I'm gonna do, if I read... Oh, well, that's good. Can I... Oh, good, I can actually hop on that. And get knocked right down. Well, takes care of that. But since the water level... Oh, this would be cool. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would jump slash would work. No. Don't do this to me, Tektites. I don't like you. Well, at least you have knocked me on land. Here's your little There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. But if I read the map right, uh, I should be able to access the uh, one part of the dungeon out of intended order, which would let, which would let me check a few chests. Go. Do that. Now, since the game doesn't intend for you to have the long shot, you should be able to access this quick shot. So I keep getting hit by all the random things. Okay. So let's do. Now, hopefully, I can access this without having to do anything that lowers the water. So please. Be good to me. There we go. Let the momentum drag me to the bottom. There we go. Oh, I think I need... Oh, I need the long shot to actually get over there, I think. Try with a hover boot trick here. Nope. I actually do need the long shot to get those uh, chests. Ah, that sucks. And those are where the only other chests are, so... Uh, looks like... Yeah, no, I, I can't get that one without the long shot. I can't get over to here without the long shot. So I am locked behind the long shot. Okay, well, Water Temple continues to be the bane of my existence, but... Now I can make a quick jump to the Forest Temple. And then I can just take care of the last few things here. And, uh... Thankfully, uh, if I have to come back the next time, uh, I don't have to use For Always Win, because if I've taken care of everything, I have the shortcut to the basement all figured out. Like that. So now I just have to twist the hallway here. And that gets me to the last section of this dungeon. I will say, though, very neat effect with the twisty room. Okay, so now we just have to go down to here, which has this collapsible ceiling. So I'm just going to play a little safe. Uh, there's one more over there. If I aim this just right. There we go. I think there's one more ahead. So, because of the way timing works, I can go do this. Which means I'm safe for the next uh, roof fall down. And I can go over here, get this treasure. And it is dungeon map to Dodongo's Cavern. Then, this room. So, if you like pushing block puzzles, here's another pushing block puzzle. There we go. Don't mess up the directions. 
So there is always one fake block. Amongst all this, I'm super happy once again for the faster uh, uh, block pushing, because this normally takes forever. And post sister number three. So once again, just pull out the deck of nuts. Every time they turn invisible, make them appear again. So that's flame number three. So now that I've done the first three flames, the last Poe sister will show up in the main room again. And we're not dealing with you. Out of my way. And then I just have to fight the fourth Poe sister here, and that opens up to the basement. There's a few treasures I can get there too. It'd be cool if one of them was the Forest Temple boss key. So that was the one that was behind me. So there. Just kind of doing a little more open. So the trick with this one, uh, one of the uh, post sister splits into four, and you have to attack the real one. If you attack a fake one, it'll just disappear. The hint that you're looking for is whichever one twirls uh, when they all appear, and then you just have to fire arrows at them because they say stay out of the distance of your sword, and they just keep spinning around you. Now, oh so conveniently, uh, she's been appearing in front of me for a lot of these. So, yeah. And that takes care of the Poe sisters. And now I have access to the basement. And if I ever have to come back here again real quick, if I don't set for always wind, uh, this will be uh, really quick access. Now, I just have to remember half the things here. There is... I might as well just do all of the uh, tricks to the room here. Okay, yeah. So that is the... Yeah, I think I messed up on which direction to push first. But at the very least, I'm getting the treasure. <laughs> just a random Deku stick. Okay, might as well... Uh, I'm probably doing this reverse order. Okay, yeah, that leads to there. So I think I'm doing this the right direction, actually. So, yeah, you have to hit switches, and then they'll open up the gates around the room. Now, if you just uh, keep an eye on which carpet color it is, if you notice there, it was a red. I just have to make the entrances go onto the red. And I'll be able to keep an eye on which uh, rooms to go into. So there was the blue gate. So if I just... Since I already got the treasure, all I have to do is just make the entrances go onto the blue. And uh, they'll be open. Alike. So... Okay. So, I don't know how this will work, but I'm gonna set another furrowway warp point here. I'll either go all the way back up to the top or it'll spawn me coming down here. I don't know. But then I'm gonna take the elevator going up because the last thing I need is that boss key and I don't have it. Okay, so it spawn it'll spawn me into the door up there, which is fine by me because it gets me back to the main room. And now I can just leave the temple. There's one little trick I can do. Is there is another hidden grotto out here. So I can just use that as a quick means to access it. All right. What do you have business scrubs? Hopefully something good, because now I'm at my wit's end trying to figure things out. There we go. <laughs> okay, well, maxed out another ammunition. And... Oh, more rupees. It's 
not what I had in mind. Okay. So, I've got another idea in mind, and it's merely just for the sake of timing. But I'm gonna go check in Ganon's tower. Because there are a few treasures I can get, and I have the means to complete all the trials. So at the very least, when I do complete the last two temples, being Forest and Shadow, I will be able to just come back here real quick, ascend the tower, and be able to be Ganondorf, and that will complete the seed. But once again, it's it's just two two small keys for the Shadow Temple and one boss key for Forest. After that, that's it. That's all I need to actually beat the game. So let's let's keep going. In we go. Okay. Now that I don't really need to worry about this per se, but you know what? Oh man. That is a lag spike. Really, did I just stun you? I never know what it is with bomb shoes and stun versus unstun. Did I hit? No. Oh. That finishes off silver rupees. Now, the funny thing is, I do remember a little trick I could have done with those armor statues, which would have let me get the, uh, the silver rupee that was by the Beemos. So I could have... I could have gotten in here sooner. I'm anxious to know, what would these chests have held? Oh, just a blue rupee. Okay. Now, ordinarily, that chest contains bomb chews. So they've made this one of the few puzzles that absolutely require bonchus. Oops. Eh, just let you go. Where do you go? Okay. And so you, that makes you want to use uh, fire arrows or dense fire. Burn the web. Forgot. Can't do that. Yeah, every wrong chest you pull is, or not wrong chest, every uh, sun symbol is a uh, dead hand or wall master. I'll get my Zelda enemies right. And in here, now this is where you would use the light arrows. And that's how you break the seals. So that's the spirit seal out of the way. So let's go do. Now it's the light trial. Now, I've already done the first two rooms, so I just have one more room after this. And the only thing I was barricaded behind was the small key. And it's just a silver rupee puzzle. That's pretty quick. Once again, I was locked behind the hook shot because I had to get up there onto the higher platform. So I just got to get this, and it should be the one that's right here if I don't get hit. And that opens up the door. Now, this is where you would get fooled because the seal's not here, so you think what's going on, but you actually have to use the lens of truth. Or you just know that it's an invisible wall. And that is the light trial down. So I've got one more seal to go, and that'll open up the way into the central, uh, central tower, which does have a chest. Now, this platform here will uh, sink into the lava unless you are wearing the hover boots, in which case it will stay up. And I'm grateful for that, because if I didn't have that, uh, I, I'd be on quite a bit of a time crunch. All right. So now it is 
this one over here. So yeah, you would actually need the Golden Gauntlets for this part too. And ordinarily they're found in the Shadow Trial. So you'd have to usually do that one first. Get the Golden Gauntlets. And then after that, uh, you'd be able to get... Yeah, you're not, you're not getting rid of that. Yeah. Once you do the Shadow Trial and get the Golden Gauntlets, then you would be able to um, uh, do the rest of Ganon's Trials. Nope, you're not getting me this time. Oh, you got me this time. But the nice part is that uh, once you do complete the Silver Ruby puzzle, you don't have to do it again. Please. Oh, I... I need the long shot. No, I need the long shot. Ah, uh, long shot just became a required item. God. Oh. Well, there's one more thing I can do here, which is maybe get one treasure chest in the shadow, uh, shadow trial. Don't think I need the hookshot for anything particular there, just fire arrows. But if I don't have that, then I really have to think of uh, things to look for. And I've been very consistent with a lot of things so far. to... Oh, I never got this treasure chest. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I came to the came to the Shadow Trial. I can actually end the uh, end the dungeon fight with, or uh, I can end this part with beating a boss, and I'm I'm very okay with that. Okay. Here before I... Oh, no, don't do this. Oh, like likes. Okay, you know what? Oh, wasn't enough. I think two arrows can do it. So what I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna kill that like like from here. Not have to worry about it. And then I'll light the way. Like that. Alright. Time to pass to me. Oh, I overshot. Didn't realize the platforms were at different heights. Oh, wow. Okay, so a fi one fire arrow can beat uh, like likes. Just you have to let them burn. So yeah, don't do this. Uh, don't do this really crazy like. That should... There we go. Now, do I have enough? I have enough to hit that, but I don't think I have enough to hit that. So thankfully, my aim is right. Really close, though. There we go. So yeah, that triggers these blocks here, and then I can use them to climb up. Okay. Let's go. Ah, just a harpies. I mean, it gets all my health back. Okay. So, thanks to finding the Forest Temple key, quick warp back to the Forest Temple. All right, well, I just have to go into the boss room. I don't have to do any other shenanigans. Yeah, and everything's still pressed, everything's still good. Now, let's go beat, let's go beat a boss. Okay, oh yeah. Oh man, I'm so low on arrows right now, I hope that's not going to bother me. Okay. There we go. So I just have to listen for... So we got Phantom Ganon here. 
I just have to listen for uh, where Phantom Ganon is riding in these portraits. There's always a fake one. But you can kind of tell which one is the real Phantom Ganon by how uh, uh, how light the color scheme is. And if you do listen carefully, you can actually tell uh, which direction the sound's in. So yeah, Phantom Ganon's right there. Alright, and after three hits, it is time for Dead Man's Volley. Oops. Uh, I, I can't move forward. Yeah. I have to hope I can get... Uh... There we go. Ah. Not enough. This might... Yeah, depending on what direction I get, this might turn into the... Yep, we're playing some back and forth now. There we go. Yeah, if you're ever looking for a hint of whether or not he's going to get hit, he's usually very uh, he'll usually be very slow on the hit where that will actually take him out. So, that takes care of Phantom Ganon, and that's another medal for my collection. Okay. So, what's the item? Ooh, a small key. Please be something I need. Oh. I don't need water temple keys. I need the long shot. <laughs> well, that is another temple taken care of. Uh, but now I'm extremely strapped for ideas right now. Well, I'm going to pause the part here and take a break and try to reassess uh, some things I could try to do. Because... It might, if I'm thinking this through right, I might have to go back to the Shadow Temple to do whatever treasures I could get before the fourth key is required. And that might, that'll take a little time. But that I think that's going to be the next thing I do because I don't have anything more to do in Forest, nothing in Fire, and nothing in Spirit. It's literally just Water Temple and Shadow Temple now. So we're going to have to figure things out there, but I'll probably start at the Shadow Temple on the next part. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure back and forth and through Hyrule again. We're nearly at the end. As soon as I get the Shadow Temple medallion, that's it. I can go and beat Ganon, and this uh, run will be finished. So we're almost at go mode. So thanks again for watching. Take care, stay safe, and have a good day.